Hello, this is HD Bailey bringing you another LP in HD. Let's see what's going on in a little anime intro. If you can even call this anime. It kind of looks like anime, but well, not the usual generic anime intro like Atlas does. But their games are good, though. Picked a hell of a time to go sailing. And he died. Well, he might be okay. So where do we end up? Oh, look, a walking bobblehead doll. That's great. Did I get turned into a bobblehead doll, too? Well, it wouldn't be the first time I've had to stop a bad guy from turning me into a figurine. Better than turning me into a pimento pepper. <laughs> But yeah, this game is a full remake of the original for the Game Boy. I think of this remake like Final Fantasy IV DS compared to the original. We've got 3D graphics now, the gameplay mechanics are different, but the general idea is still the same. So if you want to take a trip down memory lane, or dream about it, then come and let's play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. But yeah, like some things they've changed or... Well, I mean, the overworld and the dungeon layouts are mostly the same. But we've got a lot more items to find this time around. So this LP will not apply to the Game Boy or the DX version. I've already done that anyway. And they've also remixed the entire soundtrack, too. I don't know why they want me to press L and R to get to the title screen, but... I guess we can do that. Let's see, let's start a new game. Now, we do have two difficulty modes that we could use. I'm not going to be doing hero mode there. It doesn't, like, change the AI scripts of enemies or, or anything substantial like that. And it, it would just really slow things down. I couldn't, like, do damage boosting or make mistakes or anything like that. So, I think we'll just stick with the normal difficulty for this one. And you can also change your name if you want. And just like the Game Boy version, if you enter your name as Zelda, you get a different theme. Yeah, they changed the instrumentation around and everything, but... Yeah, basically the same idea. I thought they did something with, like, another name in Japanese or something. Uh, maybe that was only the Game Boy version or something. Uh, I don't know. But, uh, no, I do not want to use Zelda as my name. I'd rather avoid the confusion. So we'll just go with normal difficulty as Link. This will be a 100% glitchless LP, except for anything... Acquired with an amiibo, which is nothing critical. You okay, they do? Hey, how's it going? If you want to make the dialogue go through faster, you can just press the B button and it'll pop up instantly there. See, like that. Oh, well, yeah, I could tell from the, the text box there, but okay. Well, how do I get out of this place? You're not going to tell me, are you? Oh, okay, why would we want to go there? Oh, thanks. But I don't have any items on me or anything. Hey, how's it going? Mario, is it? No, no, Taryn. Kind of looks like Mario, though. Well... Yeah, how did you? Oh, okay. And for talking to him, we get the Hylian Shield, or, well, I guess they just call it a shield. But, uh, yeah, we can hold it out manually, unlike the first few Zelda games. This one, you have to actually press a button in order to put that to use to block projectiles and things like that. Oh. Okay, why didn't you take my possessions with you then? But, uh, okay, we can take a look around there. Why not? 
Well, uh, it wasn't me. Are, are you implying something? No. No. Let's see. Some other things around Taryn and Marin's house there. Yeah, we got a little stand or a pedestal or something or other. Whatever that thing is for. What else do we got? Oh, are they all stands for Mario enemies? Let's find out. Oy. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was something here. <laughs> but, uh, okay, never mind then. But yeah, let's take a look around the, well, wherever we ended up around here. And yeah, I just want to explore a little before advancing the plot. You got to go down to the... The beach, eventually, there. Let's see, you got a little, kind of like a weather vane or something? Or... Oh, okay, a graveyard. Okay, never mind, then. But, uh, I didn't think roosters could fly, but... Biology was not my strong subject, viewers, I'll be honest with you. But yeah, over here, we got a shop with some items to buy. I don't have any money to buy them, but if you wanted to... You could, uh, what is it? Well, you could grab an item if you wanted to, just like the Game Boy version, and then like run out real quick with it, and you could steal it. And maybe I'll demonstrate that later, but I'm not gonna be doing that right now. Well, let's head inside a fancy house they got here. Let's see, they also got a whole bunch of pedestals in this house too. You don't have to examine all of them, but I'm going to anyway. Or at least any of the ones that I think about. Well, in any case, yeah, they are all Mario enemies, okay? Well, there you are. Let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, at this point, we can't lift, uh, what is it? Yeah, all these jars or pots or whatever you call them. So, remember that for later, though, viewers. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you, too. Oh. Okay, how do you know you're going to get lost? I mean, if you knew, you wouldn't get lost in the first place. I don't know. Uh. But yeah, now they actually gave his wife a name, too. I don't think she had a name in the Game Boy version. But, in any case... Aww. Well, remember that for later, viewers. We'll see if we can acquire one of them for her. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else... Well, what do we got here? Oh. Okay. Anything else? No, I guess not. Well, you see they got these four smaller beds here. And that's because... Uh, the two of them have quadruplets. But, uh, yeah, okay, let's get out of there now. So, yeah, the quadruplets are outside here, actually. And they gave them names this time around, too. Well, yeah, that's what saving is. So, yeah, unlike... The Game Boy version, you don't get sent back to, like, the last house or door you went through. Or, like, a cave or something. You'll just start exactly where you were before. Unlike, well, I mean, uh, what was it? Yeah, if you save on the overworld, you'll be right where you are. Or where you left off, that is. You might also notice that the overworld is one gigantic screen. So, there's no, like, screen transitions or anything like that this time around. So, that's pretty nice. So, yeah, in order to save your game, just do that. So, let's see. Let's get into the menu here. Press R. Boom. You've got your save. And you're right back where you started there. But, yeah, like the other kid was saying, if you do that in a dungeon, you'll just start right back at the entrance. But, uh, okay, so, get that going. What do we got here? Some kind of, a telephone booth? Well, let's see what we got here. Ulrira! I have no idea who that is. Oh, okay. Oh, 
okay, well, maybe we should check that out in a bit. But, uh, yeah, they got a library that I'll check out, but I'm not going to show everything in there. Not right now, anyway. Hey, how's it going? Oh, that's your name? Yahoo? I thought you were just, uh, like, saying that. But, uh, okay, why are you sweeping the grass? How does that even work? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is the guy we were talking to on the phone there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, you can't really talk to him here, at least not very much. Let's see, can we check his telephone? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Uh, what's a bucket mouse? I don't know. Maybe like an operator or something? I don't know. But uh, let's see if there's anything else around here. Oh, yeah, there's another little uh, stand or... I kind of think of it like a pedestal of some kind, but, uh... Well, in any case, there's those. Hooray! Let's see, let's pass by this house for now. What do we got back here? Oh, okay. So, let's see, I think this is the first Zelda game that had fishing... How's it going? How do you get into your house? What happens if I try to fish here? Hmm. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, you can't really do anything there. Good thing they use the same currency that Hyrule does. Let's see what's going on back here behind the chain chomp. That's a hell of a security system. I don't know how you pronounce that. What is it? Chow Chow or something? I thought it was like an Italian word or something. But in any case, remember that for later, viewers. Let's see, anything back here? No. No. Let's see, we also got yeah, the uh a fox of some sort. Something like that. Don't worry, the chain chomp won't like damage you or anything. I don't think. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. Well, Bow Wow is the chain chomp that was outside there. Doesn't look very furry to me, but whatever works. And, yeah, it seems like a lot of the villagers around here have these stands. Okay, so that's for the, the little chain chomp in the other room there. Oh, your name is Chow Chow. Okay, then I have no idea how to pronounce the other one. Well, in any case, anything in here? No, I guess not. Okay, never mind then. Uh, can you... Game? Can you get me out of here? There we go. <laughs> I didn't know that was possible. So yeah, I'm going to go for a little extra length on the premiere episode here, though in general I'm probably going to stick to shorter episodes. It's not a very long game anyway. But, uh, okay. Yeah, I think they changed that line a little bit there. But, yeah, there's that little info there. Uh, dude. There you go. Oh, okay. But, uh, okay. Yeah, you can, I don't think I ever used that feature. But, in any case... But, yeah, you press the select button. And wherever you've been, it'll show you the entire area there. Let's see, over here, we got the library that Orira was talking to us about. So, if you wanted to, you could read these books that talk about various mechanics and stuff, but I think I'll just describe them as I go. 
And there's also a book on top there, but we can't access that one yet. Let's see, this one particular book, though, is important. So let's see what we got. What's going on? Oh, okay. That's... Well, remember that for later, viewers. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see if I can help people out. But, uh, okay, so now let's head on over... Where are we going? To Ronbo's Shores. There's a tail cave over there, but we can't do anything with that right now. So, let's see. We got some Octorox, whatever they call them on this island. And let's see. Let's just hop all the way down here. Skip past the enemies. Now, we got these spiky guys that will damage you if you try to touch them with your bare hands. So, use your shield. Actually, hold on. I think this sign says something about that. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, most of the dialogue in the game is, I think, identical to the Game Boy version. But they changed a little bit of it. So yeah, just hold out your shield with the R button, and you can push these guys around. And get past them. Let's see, down here? Ah, there we go. Uh, what? Game? Oh, Mr. Owl! Oh, yeah, that would be me. Oh, what do you mean? I didn't bring them with me. Oh. Okay, what's a wind fish? I mean, you're in the ocean. You don't have wind underwater. But, okay. Oh, okay. Well, what's up there? You're not going to tell us, are you? Thank you for not turning your head upside down 180 degrees. But yeah, for making it here, we get just a ordinary sword, I guess. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So yeah, one nice thing about the Switch version of the game is that you don't have to bind items like these to, like, the A or B button now. So most items that are, like, equipment and such, you have... They're bound to specific buttons. Other buttons, that is. You can have a lot more going on at once. So, yeah, these guys are pretty easy to kill. You also get a bit of a wider swing than in the Game Boy version. Let's see what I can do here. Try and... Yeah, you see how I held out my shield there? You can block the projectile. Some enemies are going to be more important to do that than others. Well, let's see who lives out here. Looks like some kind of a alligator or crocodile or something or other. But, uh, okay. Hey, how's it going? Kind of a strange name sale or maybe sally i don't know oh okay what do you do with them don't answer that viewers oh okay oh i never thought about that there i thought that was just like a throwaway line or something but uh no that actually uh well yeah that actually is important to know but, uh, yeah, okay, so now we've made it here. So, remember this guy for later, viewers. But, yeah, we can't do anything to help him out. He's just looking for, I guess, rare canned food or something like that. Where can we find it? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is HD Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.